I gotta tell you guys that lately when I've been getting dressed of a morning, I question myself over whether I have more thrift items in my wardrobe or items that I've actually bought from a retail store. My wardrobe is just full of thrift, which is what gave me the idea to make this video today. Seven thrifted outfits from head to toe, and I'm talking shoes and bags. I have made a video like this once before, and you guys seem to like it. I will link it in the description box if you wanna check that out. But yeah, I'm really excited to show you these seven outfits. It is summer here in Australia, so they are gonna be quite summery outfits starting with the one I'm wearing right now. This top I thrifted for $5 from my Tukli Markets. I really love this top. This is not a color I usually wear, this turquoise, you know, seafoam color. It is very hard to style this color, but I think paired with white, I mean, you can't go wrong. It's a really pretty off the shoulder top, and it is a Bali import made in Indonesia, 100% cotton. I love off the shoulder tops. I find them very flattering. I just love the colors in this. I think it's just very tropical, great for traveling, and just a very pretty boho top. The skirt that I paired it with is one that I thrifted a while ago from a Salvo store. I think I picked this up for about $4. It's by the brand Some Days Living, I think. It is so cute. It has a very boho vibe as well. It has a really pretty trimming on the bottom. It's a midi length and I just think it's adorable. It's high-waisted and because this top is cropped, I think they just work perfectly together. And so for those of you who think crop tops are everywhere and they're just not for you, the idea is to wear them with high-waisted things. That way you're not showing any midriff. Very boho, but very me. And the shoe that I've chosen to pair them with is this little booty that I thrifted from my Tukli Markets a while back. They are an ankle booty, tan leather, and they were $1, believe it or not. $1 for this tan ankle booty that is just gorgeous in my opinion. And I think the three just marry well together and make a gorgeous outfit. I do love a little ankle boot, no matter what the season. You know, I wear them throughout summer, winter, transseasonal. They just work really well and just lend a different styling element. You know, they bring out a tomboy, edgier vibe, and I just really prefer an ankle boot to a sandal sometimes. The bag that I've chosen is my Free People $10 bargain that I got off eBay. Although it's not the exact same color as my top, I still think it works. I can wear it just over my shoulder. It is quite long for a real boho vibe or crossbody to make it a little bit shorter. I like the way it contrasts against my white skirt. And so that, my friends, is outfit number one. I'm probably gonna wear this to work tomorrow. I just love it. It is so summery and pretty and comfortable and I love it. When life gives you lemons, you wear them. Now this top, you guys, I found at my Tukli Markets for $5. Now this isn't something I'm typically drawn to, but I don't know, there was something about it. It was the polka dots, it was the color scheme. I just loved it. It is a little quirky, but I really do love it. And so because it is so quirky, I paired it down with my yellow Bermuda shorts that I thrifted for a dollar. Now, I really do love this outfit. This is a $5 Karen Walker top. I can't believe that I found this. I think they work together so well. Bermuda shorts are so flattering in my opinion. Just the length is just everything. They're like pants, but they're not. They're like shorts, but they're not. They're just in between and they're just the best thing ever, especially for my age at 48. You know, I do want to wear shorts, but I don't feel comfortable, you know, bearing all my legs anymore. So this is perfection. And I just love, you know, the top with these shorts. Although the top came with this little tie, I belted it around my pants instead. I like the way it all ties in together. And then of course I have to put a little bit of a tomboy spin to my element because that's just my personal style. I paired this outfit with these Converse high top trainers that I thrifted for $2. Yes, you did hear me correctly. $2 for these platform 
in excellent condition, high top Converse trainers. I have been hunting for a pair of these for you wouldn't know how long. I actually manifested them. I could not believe my eyes when I saw them. I was so happy. These actually retail for, I don't know, about $150 or $160. They're in perfect nick. And I got them for $2 and I couldn't be happier. I tell you, I have worn them to death already. I actually filmed a little mini come thrift with me on my Instagram stories where I found these little beauties amongst some other things. If you wanted to check that out, it's in my Instagram highlights under thrift obsessed. There is one other mini come thrift with me on there and I plan on doing more. So if you wanted to follow me on Instagram to check those out and my little OOTDs that I post almost every day, you can do that if you want. But anyway, back to this outfit, I really do love it. And the bag that I've chosen for this outfit is this vintage quilted Chanel-esque mini crossbody bag, and I love it. I think it's beautiful. I love that the gold picks up with the yellow, and it's just a quilted little mini bag. And it is quite long, but I actually don't mind it. I think, you know, it just feels very relaxed, and I can just sort of pop it on the side like that. You know, it's just a really cute outfit in my opinion. I absolutely love this you guys i cannot believe that this is me that i am this girl wearing a lemon top who would have thunk it but it's just so cute or i can even just hold this as a little clutch if i wanted to it's just so cute from my local salvation army store and even the top the top got so many compliments as well and again five dollars from my local two clean markets and that is my whole intention with this video is to inspire you guys that thrift can be modernized like i am wearing thrift head to toe but i don't think that i look like a bag lady i don't think i look daggy i don't think i look irrelevant when it comes to fashion or being you know current i have modernized something that's thrift something that's not on trend and that's why I love thrift so much. And it is totally unique and individual and nobody else is gonna look like you, trust me. So there you go, outfit number two. Outfit number three, you guys, I'm so pleased at the way this came together. Now this is a little crop top. It's a cami, I would call it. It is cropped, but it's a little cami. I love the shape of this, it is so different very flowy. You could even wear this at the beach as swimmers, you know, with a high-waisted brief, you know, really full high-waisted brief. And then this, oh, I think it's just so beautiful. Anyway, I'm wearing this cami, as I mentioned, which cost me $1 from my Salvation Army store. Unbelievable. With these high-waisted pants, now, I love these pants. They cost me $5. They're in this gorgeous, you know, new guard color, and they go with so many things. They're kind of balloony, but not harem, because they are high-waisted, but they don't have that drop crotch, which does not suit me at all. And I love the way they sort of come in around the calf, and you have the adjustment button here, so you can tie them in nice and tight, or have them even looser if you wish. I like them to be nice and snug around my calf to create that silhouette, that balloon silhouette. These are just gorgeous. I just love how they're high-waisted. They have pockets which give them that relaxed vibe. I just love the two together. This kimono is so pretty and it also cost me $1.00. With this fringing, it's just very boho. I just love the three pieces together. I think this is definitely something I would wear traveling. If it's, you know, of an evening, out to dinner maybe, or, you know, just a nice casual shopping outfit out with the girls. I love this outfit, I really do. I think it's so gorgeous. These shoes I also found at my Salvation Army store and they only cost me $2. They are full leather and they're that lace-up detail shoe that was very in for ages. You know, I thought they looked dated but I actually like them now. I like them with this outfit. I think they are just very plain. They're a great sandal, they're very comfortable 
and I just like that they come up, you know, just below the ankle. I think that's what makes them not look dated. I think if they came up over the ankle, they would look dated. But because they're just a little sandal, they look great. I'm adding more leopard print to my outfit with this thrifted tote that I got from Vinnie's for $3, if I remember correctly. It's a great tote. I love totes. They're the only bigger style bag that I like. This is just a great shopper. I love that I'm adding another, you know, leopard print element to my outfit. I think this is just a really boho chic kind of look. You know, I'm ready to meet the girls. I'm ready to go shopping and just throw all my crap in there. I just think this is such a cool outfit. It looks very modernized in my humble actually not so humble opinion so that's outfit number three okay i know this outfit may not appeal to everybody but it does appeal to me and my sensibilities because i love vintage so for all you vintage girls out there i think you may appreciate this one all right, so this top is not so vintage. This is a top that I found again at my Tukli Markets. For $5, it's by Tibby, a New York brand. They show at New York Fashion Week, and it's in this gorgeous pink color. I am in love with pink at the moment. I think I've mentioned that before in my videos, but it's a gorgeous pink color. I think it works so well on warm skin tones, and I just love the simplicity of this tank top high neck just that's all there is to it really and i'm all about simplicity and high necks it's just a beautiful color i fell in love with the color now i'm wearing it with my vintage pleated cobalt blue midi skirt these two colors together in my opinion are magic i'm not only obsessed with pleated skirts but the midi length is my favorite length and I think that these two just pair so beautifully together. The color as well, I mean, the pink brings out the blue, the blue brings out the pink. The contrast is so beautiful in my opinion. I just love these two colors together. And the shoe that I've chosen is this beautiful little slipper flat shoe. It's a Zara shoe that looks like a little genie shoe and I found these on eBay for $25. The reason why I say they are very genie-esque is because of the point. It is very exaggerated and they look like little slippers, you know, with the tie over the foot in the beautiful velvet ribbon, which is in this beautiful pink, which I think ties in so well with the top, although they are not the exact same color, I think they just complement each other so beautifully. And then the black satin of the shoe is just a pop of black, which just is beautiful in my opinion. I love these shoes and I was thrilled to win them on eBay. I think they are just so different. They are absolutely flat, which is what I'm all about. I don't care about heels and they have a little furry detail on the back of the heel, which is just so warm and cozy if you're going to wear them in the winter time but i think they can work in other seasons as well i just love them and i love them with this outfit keeping in with the vintage vibe i've pulled out my vintage envelope bag i thrifted this beautiful leather bag which i can smell from here for a total of four dollars i love it i love its simplicity i love its shine and patina and i love the way it works with this outfit. I think it's just so pretty. It ties in with the shoe so well. And come on you guys, is this not a pretty outfit even if you are not a vintage lover? Can you not see that this is just a beautiful outfit? How have I not worn this outfit before? How have I not thought to pair these two items together? Meaning the top and bottom. I just love them so much and I can't wait to wear them. Alrighty you guys, this is outfit number five and I think you guys are gonna be a little bit divided on this one as well. It's a little offbeat, I'm not gonna lie. Let's begin with the top. This top I thrifted for $5 on Sunday at my Tukli Markets again. It's gorgeous in color. I love this peachy tone. I think it's absolutely stunning. And this simple little white lace trim detail is just stunning. Again, off the shoulder, 
I love this balloon sleeve because I can manipulate it to make it a short sleeve or, you know, bring it down and make it longer. I'm going to make it into a short sleeve today. The shorts that I'm wearing, it may not be everyone's cup of tea, but it's mine. I love them. I'm just not sure if they suit me and flatter me as much as I love them. But I bought them and here they are. They only cost me $2. I have no idea who they buy. By the way, this top is a Valley Girl top. I'm in love with this color palette. It's stunning. And the make and the cut, the length, they're a Bermuda short. They are preppy. I love a preppy vibe. I love plaid. It's one of my favorite prints. So I could not resist them. I just, you know, need you guys to tell me if you think they suit me. I would love an honest opinion. I could have styled these shorts totally preppy head to toe, you know, with a polo neck or just a really, you know, preppy shirt. But instead I went for something completely girly up top to juxtapose this outfit and just bring a completely different element look to it. You know, something unexpected to what you would normally pair with these shorts. Believe me, they are very hard to style. I know there's a lot of different colors that you can pair with these shorts, but they are still very hard to style. And you know, I did have a belt with them, but I took the belt off because I just think it was just too busy. So I took the belt off. I like them without a belt, even though they are a little large on me. I don't think you can really tell. They are wide, but you know, that is the style. Now the shoe you will probably not like very much, but I love. Now it is an Oxford Brogue in a burgundy color. Now I think that the burgundy brings out the deeper red tones in the plaid short. I love this look. I really do. You have preppy, you have, you know, classic preppy, and you have very girly. So, you know, very juxtaposed outfit, which is totally my personal style. I love it. I am getting this vibe, but does it suit my figure? Usually, you know, I'm 100% sure. With this one, I'm not sure because I am quite short but you be the judge and let me know. These shoes I found at My Salvation Army, they were unworn, perfect condition, leather, gorgeous for $8, you guys. They are just absolutely perfect. And you know, if you know anything about brogues, you know how much they cost, you know, upwards of $200. They are so expensive. I didn't have a pair. I always wanted a pair. I love burgundy. In my opinion, I think they work with this outfit. My bag is also vintage, made in India and also in burgundy and I think ties in so nicely with my brogues. And I found this one at my local community church for $2. Can you believe it? I think it is just so cute. And it is very like short, like it's a short handbag. So you could wear it cross body, but as I mentioned, very short, but I like that. I like that it sits nice and high, ideal for me. I love crossbodies that sit right on the waist. I really love this look, you guys. I really, really do. So we have, you know, a very girly feminine top, a nice ladylike bag, and then on the bottom we have very preppy classic look. So that is outfit number five, thrifted head to toe, believe it or not, and I love it. So you guys, second last outfit and I have a beautiful blue and orange scheme. This top, you guys, I thrifted for $5 from the Smith Family Store and it retailed for $150. The label I think was Finders Keepers, if I remember correctly, it's in this beautiful lace. And I've just got my nude bra underneath. I think it works better than a black. I don't know about black. It's too much contrast. I think I just like more of a tonal look. I don't know, it's more softer. This lace is just beautiful. Just a little short sleeve. The color is just beautiful in this periwinkle blue. The high neck is just stunning. You know, I love my locket just over the top. It is sheer, but I think it is not, you know, cheap 
or you know tardy i think it's very classic looking and what i've paired it with is this very bohemian skirt that i thrifted from my tukli markets for five dollars so this is a tiered midi skirt and i love it it is you know in a beautiful coral color but it does have the same periwinkle blue in the skirt in little tiny miniature flowers and i love the way they tie in together you know it brings out the little blue in the skirt and i think they make a beautiful combination you know you've got something very lacy and elegant and then something boho and you know lace is very boho i think and I just love the way they work together. I really, really do. So the shoe that I decided to pair with this outfit is a little unexpected. I've gone for an ankle boot. It's a Western ankle boot that I thrifted from my Tukli Markets in this gorgeous gray color. So I think the gray works well with the blue. It's very tonal and they were only $10. They're by the brand Malini. I love the white, the little white elastic on the side brings out the white in the skirt. And I just think that all the tones that I'm playing with in this outfit really work. I am such a lover of the ankle boot and I think an ankle boot with a midi skirt, a boho midi skirt is just a perfect combination. And I just love the way, you know, they all play together. I think it's just, a beautiful look for the bag i chose this gorgeous thrifted bag it's beaded and it's in blue tones again and i think works really well with this outfit it has a chain so if i wanted to just drape it across me i could do that for a more boho relaxed look i think that looks really cute or again i could just hold it in my hands as a little clutch like that but it's very, very pretty. And I found this at the Salvation Army for $4. And look at the beading on it. It's just so pretty. I hope the camera is picking it up. I hope it is picking up all the detail there. But it is a beautiful bag. That, my friends, is outfit number six. This is the seventh and final outfit and it is a one and done outfit, a dress. And boy, do I love this dress. I thrifted this dress from the Smith Family Store for $4. It is so cute. The label is Boohoo. I love it. I love the high neckline. I love the little sleeve. I love the length. It is just adorable in my opinion. I think this is just quintessentially me, this dress. It really is. I love a dress because like I said, you put it on and you are done. You don't have to think about what goes with it. It's just a one and done. You put a shoe on, you grab your bag and you're done. It is the best thing. And what I love about this dress, it is an all you can eat dress. I can go for my brunch, my coffee, and my ice cream and my cake and not worry about my food baby showing through. It's cute, it is so cute, is it not? I just love this dress. I'm sure you guys already know which shoe I decided to pair with this dress. Yes, you guessed it, it's the high top Converse trainer because I just love the tomboy with the girly dress. It's such a beautiful juxtaposition in an outfit. I love it so much. Not only do I think it works, but it just screams, hey, this is me. I can be girly and cute, but I'm a tomboy and I'm ready for adventure and anything else and I'm not high maintenance. And you know, that's what I like to say in my dressing. I like to, you know, say who I am without having to speak. And so that's why I chose, you know, a trainer like this over something girly. And so also with the bag, I've chosen to tie it in with the shoe a little bit, black and white. I love black and white against a pale blue. I think the three work so gorgeous together. This is one that I thrifted for 50 cents. As I famously say, whenever I mention this bag, she asked for 50 cents, but I gave her a dollar because I wanted her to make a little bit of money, but I wanted to get a bargain. And I do love a star print. I just love it. And I think it just is so cute with this outfit. I really do. I think this is an adorable outfit. And as I mentioned, 
totally joe totally me i hope you guys like it i hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did please give me a thumbs up if you would like to see more videos from me then please subscribe to my channel please let me know what your favorite outfit was i would love to know and i really hope i see you guys in my next one Shout to me and you to write our story on the shape that I knew.